Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week it's a fox in first as shooting guest Tom Barry makes a last minute switch of quarry. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. It's a few days after Christmas, but we've already had enough of mince pies, and we're back out in the field. It's an early morning start, as new stalking guest Tom Barry and I head out onto my ground to try for a rodeo. Tom will take his turn behind the rifle, as I try and capture events on film. There's a wide field of view from this seat, and Tom gets the chance to see a variety of fauna as the sun comes up. Pheasant and hare are in abundance, but there's no sign of our intended quarry. Calling it a blank, we head back for breakfast and plan the afternoon stalk. There's a change of location for the evening outing. This time, we'll go to the adjacent estate and forgo the box seat for an open two-man seat in a wooded area that's just the job. Packing up, we're ready the kit for our high seat session. We'll be using a Merkel Helix topped with a Swarovski Z4i and fed with Winchester Extreme Points 150 grain 3006. Our approach into the high seat will be slow and methodical, with regular stops to glass and try to get an early sign of our quarry, as well as to avoid spooking anything and setting off the wildlife early warning system. It's a clear evening with a light breeze, perfect for stalking, but the light will drop quickly and we'll need some luck if we're to bag a rodeo tonight. Sure enough, as we skirt the edge of the woodland, we spot a flash of white. It's a telltale sign of a rodeo. These two soon head off, but it's a good omen for what's to come. Silently, we make the final few yards to the sea, heading into the woodland just beforehand.
we let the woods settle before assessing our opportunities. There's a wide shooting angle on a ride heading both ways, so you have to be on your guard if you don't want to miss a chance by looking the wrong way. I'll provide an extra pair of eyes with my Swarovski binoculars taking in every last drop of available light. The evening wears on, and it's proved much like the morning session. Plenty of wildlife, but no deer as yet. Any day spent out in the field is rewarding, but for Tom's sake, I'm hopeful of a last minute change in fortunes. Then it happens. There's still no sign of Roe, but a fox breaks cover over to the right. I have no hesitation in ordering the change of quarry species. We need to help the keepers out whenever we can, and on top of that, Tom's never shot a fox before. The fox spots that something is up, but before it can make its getaway, a sharp squeak brings it to a halt. Tom reloads in accordance with best practice, but the fox is clearly down on the spot. The Winchester ammo did its job well. So that's no deer for Tom this time, but a job well done all the same, and a first fox for him. Well done Tom, first fox. Oh cheers. <laughs> Good shot, perfect. How old do you think she is? No, it's lost years, but she's not uh, gonna be eating any more <laughs> pheasants, that is for sure. I know we're out looking for does, Tom, but uh, as far as the keepers are concerned, you know, we, uh, in fairness to them and all their hard work through the season, yeah. uh, we always take a fox of it if uh, the opportunity presents itself. Um, we never see that many, um, and the keepers are on top of them, but, uh, you know, th this little vixen could have done some serious damage, and I'm sure it has been doing some serious damage, uh, but uh, you've just made a uh, a new friend with a keeper. That's for that's for sure on this beat. Yeah. <laughs> the gamekeeper would be delighted then. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. No, well done, mate. <clears throat> In stalking, you never know what to expect, but another fox dealt with before the springtime is a very good outcome indeed. <laughs> Tom Barry making the most of an unexpected opportunity there. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Basque membership has grown yet again. It's now at 152,500, yet another record figure for the UK's largest shooting organisation. And Basque said it wouldn't sit on its laurels. Head of membership David Ilsley said they would continue to deliver the best package for shooters in the coming years. Don't forget, if you're a Basque member, you'll get complimentary entry to the Game Fair at Ragley Hall on the 27th to the 29th of July. The Northern Shooting Show is going to be even bigger this year. Organisers of the event at the Great Yorkshire Showground say they've had to add an extra haul to the show, such as the demand from exhibitors. Confirmed brands at the show include Beretta, Seiko, Remington, Schmidt & Bender, Custom Fit Guards and Canet Pro. Save the dates, the 12th and 13th of May this year. Early bird tickets are available from the show website. Rhino poaching has abated slightly in South Africa, but it's still rife elsewhere on the continent. 
Along with more than 6,000 rhino poached in South Africa since 2006, there have been 500 in Zimbabwe, 200 in Kenya, nearly 200 in Namibia and over 100 in Mozambique. Save the Rhino International said new law enforcement initiatives were helping reduce the incidence of poaching, but it's too soon to say if any country has solved the problem. And finally, want to win a Parazzi shotgun and a trip to Italy to have it custom fit? Now's your chance. All you have to do is enter Basque's winter gun draw. The winner gets a full Parazzi experience, during which you'll be measured for the stock of a Parazzi MX-12. With custom engraving, barrel length and rib style to boot, the gun is worth an impressive £16,000. Entries are open to all Basque members in the member area of the Basque website or by calling the Basque hotline. The closing date is the 1st of February. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.